Level Up Advanced 5e. I've, I've been talking a lot about Level Up Advanced 5e. This is from EN World Publishing. It is a variant of fifth edition. Really, really cool. I love the Monstrous Menagerie. I'm getting I'm working towards having my players switch over to the A5e Players Guide, and we're going to try it for or the Adventures Guide, and we're going to try it for our next campaign. I'm really excited about it. One of the things that EN World Publishing put out, which is incredible, and I rediscovered it on my I rediscovered it in my like library my digital library of things is a monstrous menagerie VTT tokens pack that you can download for free from drive through RPG this uses artwork from the monstrous menagerie for all of the standard core monsters that you would find in 5e whether you're using the, the Dungeons and Dragons monster manual or whether you're using the monstrous menagerie or any of the common s- typical monsters that you see for fifth edition they are included in this it has 170 different monster tokens so last week I did a video also about Albert Rodeo, particularly Albert Rodeo 2.0. And what I thought was cool is how you can use these two things together. And we're going to show how to do that today. So this is Albert Rodeo. You can find albert.rodeo is the URL. You can find a link into the show notes. If you want to learn more about Albert Rodeo, I have linked to my Albert Rodeo for Lazy GMs video where I talk more about it. We're not going to focus on all the features today. We're only going to focus on adding a lot of tokens to our game because it's really really cool so i've i'm using my demonstration profile that i have i only have the one room here for it and i'm going to go into that room just so i have a place to go and i'm going to go into the tokens section so i've already downloaded the tokens from uh the monstrous menagerie on uh drive through rpg so i have that locally on my machine i'm going to go to my monster tokens here And I am going to, in the collections, I'm going to click the plus and I'm going to create a new collection called A5E. So I have a new collection in there that's empty, right? An empty collection. And then I'm going to click add. It has the starter set, but we're going to go to new and it says click or drag to to, to upload. I'm going to click the upload. I'm going to go to my downloads folder where I have all of the tokens, the 175 tokens. I'm selecting them all. You can't see this because it's not going to show the windows where I'm manipulating things. But I selected them all because you can upload them all at once. And you click open. And it brings them on here. Now, here's a key. A couple of keys. One is the default text. You want it to copy image name. And I selected a font size. And I'm going to select the font size of 36 because I think that that looks good. Size, we're going to do auto. You want to make sure to get all these settings because you're about to upload 170 tokens. So you want to make sure that you get all your settings right. So when you click import, you're not going to import things. And go, Oh, I got to do it again because that'd be a big pain. So the copy image name, the font family, uh, visibility, we're going to make them visible, locked. We're not going to worry about that. Size auto, rotation no, font size 36, font family. What this is going to do is put the name of the monster underneath the token. Now you might decide you don't want to do that because you want to name each token when you're using them, but it can help you on searching. So then you click import. And bang, it starts bringing them in. Look at them all go. 170 new tokens in Albert in, at once, all for free. I'm using the free version of Albert Rodeo, and I downloaded the tokens for free. So you can get all of these accessories, tokens plus tokens plus the, the virtual tabletop, all for free. That said, you should support your RPG creators. If you find yourself using Albert Rodeo a lot, definitely consider subscribing to it. You get to have more rooms. You get to customize those rooms. You get more space to serve all of this stuff. I don't know actually how much space I'm going to have in the free tier. For all I know, they might they might not not hold it all. Oh, look, they're, they're coming in. Oh, here they all come. Oh, we're so close, zombie. Get, get a little zombie. There, we got the zombie. And also pick up the Monstrous Menagerie. One thing is like the, mon- the, the monsters from the A5V, the Level Up Advanced 5V Monstrous Menagerie, you're like, oh, well, they're available online. You can get them in Mike's Monster Tool. You can get them in these other places. The book itself has so much more than just the monster stat blocks. It's got knowledge checks. So you can tell your players information about the monster when they roll particular checks. It has encounters that show which monsters are related to which other monsters for particular encounters at different challenge ratings. It's got treasure parcels. So you can have treasure automatically. There's so much stuff that comes in the Monsters Menagerie that isn't available as part of their open gaming content. So even though you can get the monster stat blocks and various tools and stuff like that, it's still really worth buying the book. So even though all this stuff is free, buy the book, subscribe to Albert Rodeo. It's really good. So now I have an A5V section in my monster tokens that has all of these tokens. And they're really cool looking tokens. They're very, they're not, they're not overdone. 
They're not, they don't have like big borders or big crazy stuff on it. The artwork is really cool. That's all great, but it's a lot of tokens, right? The cool bit is you can search on it. So you can say Balor and you get Demon Balor right there and you can just drag them right onto your map, right? And now I've got a Balor. You can resize them if you want them to be, you know, different sizes. You can do the whole uh, option click to get multiple ones. Let's turn the, let's turn the fog of war off. And all the tokens are in this list here, but you don't have to, you can click here and just have your default token. So the nice thing about setting up a separate collection of them is they're not going to crud up all of your other tokens. You don't want to necessarily have one big batch with 175 tokens in it. You really want that one just for that set. So that's why you set up that collection ahead of time. But lots of different, and as you can see, like when I did a search for Balor, I pulled up all these other ones. Uh, you can have Tarask, right? And a cool Tarask token that you can drop right on. That guy's really big. So I think this is just awesome. I think that it's a really, really great way to get a whole bunch of tokens for free that you can drop right into your game. The search works really well because the, the names are all, all right. So you can just do a search. Oh, look at that Dread Knight. That Dread Knight is awesome. Boy, we have a, this is a battle. How would you like to be in this fight? Two Balors, a Tarask, a Dread Knight, and let's have like four whites. I think those whites are a little outmatched. I keep holding down the thing. I keep making more whites. Right? Really cool. So I thought that was a really cool trick. Again, you can get the tokens from DriveThruRPG. There's a link in the show notes. You can also check out Albert Rodeo and my tutorial for Albert Rodeo. And now you know how to add these tokens into Albert Rodeo so you have for free like 170 monster tokens for all of the typical monsters you would find in your 5e fantasy role-playing games.